Davis, how would you uh, how would you grade your performance uh, against Washington the other day, and and can you give us your sense when you watched film? What did you see, and especially on third downs? Yeah, you know we're kind of over Washington right now. We're on a Washington State, so um, that really hasn't bothered me too much. I've wrote the things, and we, I've been coached on the things I need to work on for this week, and we'll apply that this week. Whether that be, you know, footwork in the park pocket. You know, I got. Um, heated up a little bit, and that caused me to have a little bit more happy feet in the second half than I probably did in the first half. And uh, um, they did a good job defensively. I mean, they're a top five team in the country, and uh, you know they played great. So we're off of uh, that game; it's over, and uh, we move on to Washington State. You know, a great opportunity we do have against a great football team, who's one of the hottest in the Pac-12. Um, you know, Coach Leach is obviously a coach I've always looked up to ever since uh, my my childhood days at, in Texas, watching Texas Tech throw the football around a bunch. You know, watching my Former head coach of Texas Tech, Coach Kingsbury, to you know B.J. Simmons, to Cody Hodges, to Sonny Cumbie, to Graham Harrell. I mean, there's so many quarterbacks I watched growing up that Coach Leach coached, and uh, you know it's a great opportunity to play those guys. So then, spinning it forward a little bit, um, what do you guys need to do differently, better on third down to to be more successful on third down? You were one for 14. Mm -hmm. Just execute better. You know, I think uh, we did not win one-on-one matchups at receiver or running back or offensive line or at quarterback. You know, I think we just got beat up one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, whether that be on the outside, whether they press us up in the second half, or you know, just not converting and again, not being good on first down efficiency, efficiency, efficiency sorry, and uh, having too many third and longs, you know, instead of third and threes, third and twos, and third and ones, and then once they give us a box, we can run it into. We gotta be able to execute it. So I think it's just across the board offensively. It starts with the quarterback, and uh, we look forward to being better on third down this week. Uh, what do you see in Washington State's defense? Uh, Washington kept things fairly basic and still was able to execute. What sort of things did Washington State do? Do they blitz stuff like that? I wouldn't say Washington was that you know basic. I think going into the game they were very basic, and um, I think honestly the whole year they blitz. I think twelve times going into that game. I think they blitz. I think four, thirteen or fourteen times that game. Uh, I think they uh, after the first half we had a couple deep ones on them, and they kind of changed their their uh, mindset on how to defend us, and they got after us after they changed that mindset. So um, Washington State, you know, is, is, is a great coach defense. Um, you can tell on on tape they play well together, and they're very tough. Um, you know, the, after the first two games of the year, they look like a completely def different defense. Um, that's a credit to their coaching staff and their leadership on that team to, you know, get those guys going in the same direction. That's why they're, they're one of the hottest teams in the Pac-12. So we have our hands full, and uh, Washington State's going to be a great opponent for us. Um, I'm excited to go to Pullman, Washington and get a chance to play in front of that hostile environment and uh, I'll just be uh, having a great opportunity to play on Saturday. I think you may be the only one who's ever said you're excited to go to Pullman, Washington. Uh, on another matter, uh, against uh, Cal last year, Washington State blitzed quite a bit towards the end of the game. Have you watched last year's film? I mean, at all? I have. I have, but I mean, I'm really focused on this year's new personnel. Um, it's a new scheme a little bit. So, I mean, I, I know that. Washington State is one of the hottest teams in the Pac-12 right now. So, I mean, they've literally changed after the first couple of games. They've changed their mindset. They've gotten a little more base. And um, I expect them to, you know, play us the way they have the, the previous six games. So, I mean, we'll see how they defend our wide splits and uh, what they have schematically for that. And uh, we'll kind of learn on the fly. And uh, we'll, uh, you know, do our best to convert as many third downs and first downs into touchdowns as possible. What are the biggest differences between their defense last year and the first two games and then the rest of this year? Say that again. What's the biggest, what are the biggest differences you see from their defense last year and the first two games this year compared to their last six? I mean, I've only watched one of their games from last year, which is Cal last year. So uh, I can't really comment on last year's defense, but I can comment on the first two games, I think. Um, they were just, you know, they just weren't themselves. You know, I think they were just trying to figure out how they were going to play defensively. Um, and then, boom, it was like a snap. And then the third through whatever game this is now, they've been very effective. Uh, they've done a great job of containing the quarterback with their defensive front and uh, mixing up enough in the back end to keep the quarterback and the receivers, you know, off balanced and kind of a guessing game. So they've done a great job defensively. I have nothing to respect for their defensive staff and their players because they do play very well together, very tough. And uh, they've done a great job ever since those last couple, first couple games. And uh, they got off to a hot start. And so, you know, it helps when, you know, their offense is doing as well as they are with Luke Falk having a great year. And uh, defensively, I mean, they, they've, they've helped them out winning a lot of games this year. They've kept, te they kept their team in a lot of games. And uh, they've been able to have a lot of team wins this year. So they're a great team. And we're excited to have a chance to play them this week. Just kind of following up on that, are they doing anything different 
than they did the first two weeks for? Or is it <clears throat> they're just doing what they do better? I think they're just doing what they do. Yeah, I think they were trying some new stuff in the first couple of games. And uh, ever since then, you know, they've really just died down and um, really focused on what they do best. And boy, they have been doing pretty good on defense. So they've, they've won, I think, their past six games or something like that. So you know, they got after Arizona pretty good last week. I think everybody in the country saw that score. So um, they're coming out hot. And uh, I'm sure they're excited to get another you know, game under their belt. And uh, we're excited for an opportunity to play Washington State. You know, it's a big game for us. I'm just used to the next one. So this is an important game, and uh, we're looking forward to having a chance to play such a great football team and, you know, a red-hot team, honestly. They're, they're very good, and uh, we look forward to uh, the opportunity to play them.